The moment you think of startup, these names pop up, but no one talks about the 99% of founders who tried and never able to make it. Now in the AI age, execution isn't a moat anymore. Your big idea could be a feature in someone else's product next month. Hi everyone. So let's begin our reel. So as you can see, first I'll, you know, bring in my image person, person image. Okay. And put it here. So all these, you know, assets I have got from Google images for free. So you can also get them too. I will also be providing these assets in the description. So you can follow along easy. First of all, you know, I'll just hit S to scale this. Okay. Put it over here. Let me scale this a bit more put it like this now we need a circle so i'll click here ellipse tool disable the stroke and enable the fill and you know let's select uh this color while holding shift drag with your mouse like this okay hit ctrl alt o now we are you know doing the design okay we'll do the animation later first we need to do the design and i will put it over here okay now as you can see, there's also a background, white background. So I'll hit new. Okay. And then solid. It's okay. White color. And put it behind. Now, as you can see in the start of the animation, it, this, you know, person goes down. And then these four come up. So first, we have to design that. So let me bring in my, you know, assets. So this is Airbnb image. I'll hit S to make it small. Okay. Go to effects and presets. We have to make this black and white color. You know, search for right tone effect and put it on this. Okay. Now I'll make this black. Okay. Yeah. So we have got it. Okay. Now I'll again head on to project and then I will search for the, you know, yeah, Airbnb. This. Okay. Hit S, make it small. Select this, you know, ellipse tool again. And while selecting this image, okay, hold shift and drag like this. So you have created a mask now. Now I simply head here, head on to tint and bring it and put it on this. Okay. So now I have to match the size. Okay. So I'll just, now I'll just, you know, hit S and reduce the size yeah so we have matched this first let's start making everything 3d except the white background white solid okay now we make this one view now i'll hit new okay null object we nail this to app dmb control make this 3d too. now i'll just select both these and connect it with this airbnb control now if i you know hit y rotation and rotate it as you can see it is same image we have but we need to change this so i just select this hit p over here and you know just drag this along the z axis okay now if you rotate it you can see that there are different images at the front and at the back now repeat this same process Okay, for the rest of these logos. So I'll be fast forwarding this scene. Okay. So now we can start with the animation of the first scene. So this will go up and these four will come and then it will turn like this. Okay. So let's do this animation. I'll be hitting right click and then I'll also be bringing my camera. Okay. Again, I hit right click new null object and rename this to cam control and make it 3D2. Now connect parent lectures camera to cam control. Okay. Now simply select this Airbnb control, all the control buttons. Okay. And Airbnb control and drag them here. Okay, make sure that, you know, let's select everything, the icons and the controls and put it below the random person and the shape layer. Okay, so it goes behind this. Simple as that. 
now i'll just you know make them inside this so it doesn't show now what we have to do is simply let on cam control p for position keyframe go ahead one second again hit position keyframe go to the second keyframe and you know just zoom this out like this and we drag this down and at the same time we'll go over here just you know remember to select all our controls yeah so fb amazon and airbnb control select all of them hit p for position go ahead and then drag them up like this now simply you know select them individually and scatter them out like this okay so this will be the animation now we have to just smooth it out so i'll just select all of the keyframes f9 and then drag this to the left so we we'll get this animation so now as you can see the starting animation is done now it turns okay so let's do that okay so again i'll go here hit cam control hit control d hit u and delete these keyframes now connect this cam control to cam control 2 and then from here we have to just six position keyframe go ahead now zoom this in bring it down okay select this f9 and then drag this to the left so it will look something like this okay now what we have to do is arrange them so i'll be just doing simply you know go ahead one frame okay and again click on these position keyframes go ahead somewhere here and now let's just bring them closer okay one will be here and this will be here nothing more than that okay now as you can see when this comes it rotates also so just go to this first keyframe select these three okay and hit shift r now hit the y rotation go ahead and turn this now select these three hit s9 and then drag this to be left now you can see you have completed the first animation okay after this it will zoom out and these company names will appear again i'll hit control d to make cam control 3 30 go to delete the keyframes now connect this to 2 3 and from here what we have to do is simply hit position keyframe go ahead and zoom everything out like this but as we can see this part is also showing which we don't need so somewhere around here i will cut it select the you know shape layer and this random layer person and get all done right bracket now we need to bring the company logos so you know i'll just bring and put it at scale okay put it over here just place them now we need to place this logos front and back okay so what we need to do is first change this to two views okay select this in select this panel custom view 2 and make it custom view 1 okay and now i just select this and turn it like this so as you can see everything is in the same plane but we don't want panel okay so i'll just select one hit p and move it back okay select this hit p and let's move it front select this hit p and it here i have done this randomly but you can you know take your time and do it properly no hurry yeah so it's over here okay let me just drag this out a bit over here yeah and you no know, put this out also okay now when you zoom in these all you can okay so you know you have got this let me just bring this in over here okay 
so as you can see one thing is that when it is coming out zooming out everything is becoming blurred so what we can do is simply right click new and then an adjustment layer okay search here for Gaussian blur put it on this adjustment layer okay now just click here on the blurriness go ahead and increase it okay hit the U select the keyframes F9 and then drag this to the left okay now for the next animation this door closing okay so I have also this door animation okay I can just bring it over here okay make it 3d2 and then hit right click transform and then flip horizontal okay to make it face this side put it over here hit s to scale properties now as it is opening we want it to close so I'll just hit time time reverse layer okay So it will close like this okay so what i can do is when this closes around here i can just simply select all of my logos and then hit p to open up opacity and go ahead and make it zero here okay Now I'll just you know change it to one view and make it big. Okay. Now what we need to do is I'll just you know select this pen tool and let's make it you know linear gradient. And to achieve this look, we need to do this one white. Uh, sorry, this one black and click this and make it white. Okay. Now I'll click here, then here. finally here yeah. okay yeah now turn this like this play with these two handles okay bring this down a bit Stay like this okay now it's done simply have to place it properly okay nothing else now this text will come this part is very simple so what we can do is simply select this pen tool and then head on to solid color and then hit stroke head on to solid color disable fill okay click here and then click here okay i'm choosing random color like yellow okay but choose proper colors and now and then trim paths and go ahead go to the first keyframe and make it zero select this at nine and drag this to the left and you know just like this to the text animation okay very simple let me just hit new text I'll be using my you know text preset over here okay so the next part of this animation will be continued in the next video so hit that like button and if we get 200 likes, I'll be making second part of this video. So stay tuned and take care.